Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, I have read uh, something that fourth dimension of time means. So, can you explain it in brief to me? That the fourth dimension is time. Yes. The twentieth century, we thought of three dimensions of space being very different from the fourth dimension of time, right? It's like I told you. How do we observe in astronomy? We locate, find intensity as a function of the location and time. It's considered as separate. But what people realized, uh, starting with Einstein, was you could integrate time also as a fourth dimension without separating it out as special. That one can mix the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time and mix them together. It's like you can take x, y, z axis. You know, you heard of Cartesian coordinate system? It's an x, y, z axis. But for each x, y, z axis, you can define another Cartesian coordinate system, which is x prime, y prime, z prime, which is some combination of x, y, and z. You understand that the three are not unique. You can mix them in different ways and come up with a different coordinate system. One of the things Einstein showed, Einstein and several others, was that you can mix time with the spatial dimensions in exactly the same way, that it is not as unique as people had thought it was. It is still a little special, but not as special as people had thought before that, before then. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And what's more, it's essential. Consider time uh, on an equal footing with space, and of course the speed of light being constant in all frames and all those things, is essential to explain many of the observed facts. Sir, I have read an interesting theory uh, called as the Gaia theory, which states that Earth herself is a living organism, a living being. So can you please further explain this theory? Gaia hypothesis is basically it suggests that the Earth modifies itself in ways to uh, sustain itself. I think for the moment it's outside the limits of astronomy or how we understand it. It's, it's really a, a fairly uh, out of the way hypothesis that nobody is really tested or even suggested how it can be tested in any manner. So it's, it's really not something that one uh, approaches scientifically, not yet. Thank you, sir.